on again. Now today we go take a look into this so-called secret society, so-called Ivy League. We go get into that and see if they really gonna show us some things about the secret society, the ones that rule the whole wide world. And of course they're not split up, they all together as one. You understand me? The Freemasonry, the Skull and Bones, all of them, Illuminati, all wrapped up in one secret society to rule over the damn people. Let's watch this right here. See if they're going to tell you any kind of truth. Secret societies are a great source for conspiracy theories and Hollywood blockbusters. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Great source for conspiracy <laughs> and Hollywood blockbuster. But what you have to understand, people, these people, when you see them come on screen, they're basically trying to get it out of your mind what secret society really is. They're trying to plant a seed in your head to tell you what it is, but it's not. They can't fool everybody. We know what it means, and we go break it down and show you, Which clarify it for you. One thing is certain: a secret society is about elevating members above others. Mm -hmm. Us versus them. Mm -hmm. and the Us versus them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The league secret societies are the elite among the elite, and mm -hmm. members often become world leaders. You hear that, people? The elites after elites, and members often becomes what? World leaders, okay. Mm -hmm. I sat down with one man who was telling his story, mm -hmm. and he's not your typical mm -hmm. Ivy League secret society member. And don't worry about it, as you can see his hand sign right there, holding the triple sixes. <laughs> He's not gonna show you nobody from no secret society. Just fucking bullshit for TV. But of course, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what they're selling the masses? Secret society is about. Pay attention, nothing but fuckery. Shadow societies TV. have existed for centuries. Mm -hmm. At one time, mm -hmm. Christianity was a oh, secret society. Mm -hmm. You see that? No, don't. What they're going to tell you right here. <laughs> yes, one time Christianity was a secret society. But are they really going to tell you why? Wow, you're never going to get it, people. Why they give you an image to worship? Why? Why would you worship an image, people? The image that they give you with the cross behind the head, right there, holding the Baphomet sign every time you see it. And what does this represent right there? What is that? I told you people, it's an image with the sun ray behind it, with all the stars on it. It's an image. Don't worship no image, people. I don't give a damn what they call it. Society to avoid Roman persecution. Mm -hmm. Bullshit about huh? Roman persecution. You hear the reason? You hear the reason why it was a secret society? Yes, because the Romans want to kill them. As you can see the sign on the Jesus hand again. And you can see over the head. What this round thing around the head again? For the sun worship. Pay attention, people. They fool you for a long time. I need to avoid Roman persecution. Mm -hmm. Founding fathers like Washington mm -hmm. and Frank. There you go. Founding fathers, they call them. Founding fathers. Wow, and I tell you, people. These are all Freemasonry built up the whole America. You understand the whole wide world, basically. That's why they call them Freemasonry. Masonry, meaning that they're the one who built what's on this earth. Yes, because they own the whole thing, basically. Ruling the people. Yes, by dividing up in sections. And you never get it. Eagle right there. Yes, all of them is Freemasonry. And what that tell you? When they show you these two, two so-called Freemasons right here, former president, and they tell you that they're founders, what that tell you? Anybody you see in the so-called White House, Freemason, 100% in. We're Freemasons. The Mafia mm -hmm. is a secret society. Mm -hmm. Our membership. Mm -hmm. The mob is a secret society. <laughs> you need to wake up, people. All the shit that they tell you that the mob doing is them. They ain't no fucking mob. The fucking secret society, the so-called elite, those are the mobs working mind games on the people. It's pleasures, it's hardships, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's pain. Mm -hmm. There are many reasons mm -hmm. to join, but at the core mm -hmm. is status, favoritism, and mm -hmm. power. A mm -hmm. toast. Favoritism and power? Yes, they make this movie right here called the so-called Skull. But what you have to understand is the same shit as the Skull and Bones. They kind of give you a little peep into it. To the successful progression of skulls. Mm -hmm. Above any other. Mm -hmm. Above any other. The movie The Skulls captured the imagination of mm -hmm. one of these secret societies, mm -hmm. Skull and Bones mm -hmm. at Yale. You capture the imagination? You better wake up, people. They just give you a prep into it with the movie. Not gonna really tell you shit. 
but they basically show you how the secret society operate from the ground they're never gonna show you what's really under going on inside of there you understand me pay attention diversity always. the film hit the box office in 2000 mm -hmm. as a skull and bones mm -hmm. member was there running for office mm -hmm. george w bush you see that people and what they're gonna tell you right here <laughs> you, you, you they show you george washington and them and they tell you that they're freemason right there and now they're gonna tell you that george bush and them is skull and bones but what you have to understand they are all the same and what i tell you about all those colleges those big colleges your yale and all of them what do you think they're there for to recruit freemasonry that's what it is people secret society that's where they get them from 100 percent. that's how they groom their members and bring them in along to fool the damn people 100 percent. this skull and bones the same fucking shit as freemasonry <laughs> Other members Same included his shit. father and grandfather, mm -hmm. there you go. as well as Senator John Kerry. There you go. They want to separate them, but I already told you, all the secret societies in one. They never separate from day one. They just make it look like that when they're recruiting people. You need to wake your ass up. Skull and Bones was started mm -hmm. in 1832. Mm -hmm. when people 1832, right there on the money. But what you have to understand, people, this right here is the same Freemasonry. Wake your ass up, people. Same Freemasons. We're starting to become suspicious of organizations like the Freemasons. Mm -hmm. So two men decided to make their college mm -hmm. fraternity a secret society. You hear that, people? <laughs> they worry about the Freemasonry, so they come up with the damn skull and bones. You better wake up. It's the same fucking people. Alfonso Taft, mm -hmm. father of President Howard Taft, mm -hmm. and a merchant named William Huntington Wessel mm -hmm. made his mm -hmm. fortune transporting opium. Mm -hmm. For centuries, mm -hmm. secret societies like these were for white men, mm -hmm. primarily. You hear that? It was just for white men. But it's bullshit. 100% in. And they tell you that he so-called make his money right here off of smuggling heroin so-called. It's bullshit, people. 100% in. They don't have to smuggle shit. They're the one who run the whole banking system and the money. You better wake your ass Named up. William Huntington Wessel. Mm -hmm. made his fortune transporting opium Bullshit. for centuries secret societies like these were for mm -hmm. white men primarily from established and wealthy families mm -hmm. from established and wealthy families mm -hmm. <laughs> okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is not Ian Smith, mm -hmm. one of the few African Americans chosen for one of Harvard's secret societies. Mm -hmm. You hear that? He's a black man and he's one of the rare because they don't choose black men so called. You wake up people, it's bullshit. 100%. All of them involved in the damn Freemasonry. What's wrong with you? African Americans chosen for one of Harvard's secret societies, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Delphi Harvard. Club. Why did they pick you? Mm -hmm. You know, it's been several decades mm -hmm. since I was a This one right here is a fucking fake on the masses. That's what you need to remember. It's just a damn sodomite fake on the masses. You We're believe in the club, the club, and I have no idea why they chose mm -hmm. me. I am everything that a club is not. I'm African-American. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not wealthy by any stretch of imagination. I come from mm -hmm. a working class family. Mm -hmm. He's not wealthy and he's black, but he don't know why they chose him. It's bullshit, people. Wow, I can't believe they pass this shit off as real. They're not going to show you one of those fucking Freemason fucker on TV. They're not going to show you and say, here you go, a secret society member. You believe that? You better wake your ass up. I had no up. legacy whatsoever at Harvard or mm -hmm. in this kind of elite world. I don't know why they chose me. And they don't tell you why they, cho they chose wow. you. Mm -hmm. Under his dorm room door in 1988, wow. he received an invitation with three blue torches. Mm -hmm. Three blue torches. They just push up, put a letter under his door with an invitation. That's it. They just chose him. He don't know why. You believe it, people? That card opened a door to a world most never see. Mm -hmm. You do learn very quickly how important these clubs are, not just socially, but historically mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. And they're very different from fraternities in the sense of mm -hmm. they are more formal. Mm -hmm. uh, they tend to be more elegant. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot more money. Mm -hmm. Money. They have a lot more money, people. Where would this money so-called come from, people? Where is all these money come from? What? You tell me rich kids going to college and they put all the money together to get this secret society popping? No, people, it's fake shit for the masses. The elite people that control money run all of this shit right here from all of those so-called big college that you can't get in. Women, parties, mm -hmm. exotic trips, and mm -hmm. cars. I remember bullshit. things that happened mm -hmm. in the club mm -hmm. that 
were they brought to the fore now mm -hmm. in the environment and the era that we are in, mm -hmm. those people who participate in those activities mm -hmm. would be held very accountable and would have a negative impact. Mm -hmm. Plus, secrecy wow. gives an air of prestige. Mm -hmm. Very few get behind the door of the Delphic. Mm -hmm. Sure, Ian Smith mm -hmm. was a... There you go. Very few get behind the door, but he did. <laughs> It's nothing but bullshit, and if you notice what he got on, red and blue, for your division, they're fake. Great student mm -hmm. and athlete, but he was not like the others. Mm -hmm. He grew up in a working-class neighborhood in mm -hmm. Danbury, Connecticut, mm -hmm. with a single mom. You know, mm -hmm. I think I was a, a pretty fun guy and, you know, wow. affable. I didn't have a lot That's of... That's the reason why they pick you. Yes, you was a very fun guy. That's why they pick you for the secret society Oops. member. And so I think that mm -hmm. the guys just probably like me. But were you conflicted going in, knowing mm -hmm. the history of these groups mm -hmm. and how they typically had viewed... Yes, and Af of course, he know the history of all of that shit already before they put him in there, right? Get out of here. Americans or even mm -hmm. people who didn't come from the power structure of the East. Mm -hmm. Yes. For mm -hmm. years, these clubs have kept out people like myself, mm -hmm. African-American... bullshit people. This is how they divide the people up in sections. And I tell you, all of my videos that I did can prove to you that it's not about race when it comes to this secret society. You never get it, people. You think they just record this one right here, just off the bat, and they say, oh, he's black. We're just going to record him because he, one of them will go be black in the group. No, it's bullshit, people. All of them nations involved in it. Every race, they involved in it. That's why the fucking trick will work. You better wake up. They can get a black man to trick the black people. They can get a white man to trick the white people. And so on and so forth. They're never going to stop at one race. Just remember that people shit. People who don't come from money. And so here mm -hmm. I was, mm -hmm. almost Bullshit. feeling like I was betraying my past because I was joining a club that stood for things that it's either bullshit. demeaned or didn't represent mm -hmm. where I came from. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, that was it's problematic bullshit, for me, but my people. curiosity won over. Did it's you... Bullshit, people. And he never tell you all the fuck he get into Harvard. He just tell you about he was poor growing up, single mom. All the fuck you get into Harvard. It's that easy. What was you? You was an athlete? Get out of here, people. This is bullshit for the masses. You know, you think it's easy to get into Harvard? Wow. Dumb on. Justify it by saying, mm -hmm. hey, I'm, maybe I can reform this group from the inside. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I'm not going to sit here and paint myself as a radical, like mm -hmm. I had this kind of you know, mm -hmm. revolutionary idea going into these clubs because I was mm -hmm. just a kid. But mm -hmm. I did feel like, well, maybe if I get in mm -hmm. and they realize that wow. guys like me are good guys, even though I'm wow. not rich. You believe in people? <laughs> now that he get in, he can try to, you know, let them know that guy like him is cool. Black people. You believe that? It's bullshit. And I'm African-American that we're good guys and like to hang around wow. with, with me and wow. maybe they'll let more in. The Delphic Club is a secret society at mm -hmm. Harvard. This is the Delphic Mansion. As you can mm -hmm. see, there's no sign on the front of it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ian Smith says there's top-notch security mm -hmm. here because over the years people... Top-notch security there, people. So that means that shit is bigger than the college itself. <laughs> you believe that people just a college it's a college so called you go there to learn and they have this secret society shit set up and you have top notch security wow I had to break in to discover mm -hmm. the rare books artwork mm -hmm. and it's value bullshit people but, but books and, and shit that they need to hide secret shit involved they got it in there and people can break in get out of here it's artifacts bullshit artifacts that are inside it's part of the plot of Smith's mm -hmm. new book the of ancient course, always a a book and watch this right here the ancient nine called it for freemasonry just wake your eyes up an elite secret society mm -hmm. working show you the twin pillar right here <laughs> and the freemason bricks mm -hmm. within the secret delphic club mm -hmm. the story reveals the thoughts and motives behind mm -hmm. young men who are already in the competitive world of the ivy league mm -hmm. for most people who go to a school like harvard you're gonna do all right mm -hmm. right and so what kind of leg up does this give you mm -hmm. the intimacy of these clubs allows you to have access to extremely powerful people mm -hmm. who are not powerful access. <laughs> you give you access to powerful people mm -hmm. you're undergraduates because you're all undergrads but when you get out of school and mm -hmm. they become the head of different commissions in the government they become ceos they mm -hmm. become big partners of law mm -hmm. firms mm -hmm. you know you're dealing with some pretty heavy people mm -hmm. and because mm -hmm. you're a club member, how the fuck would they get to be that people governments and ceo a top club a top club member and ceo a fortune 500 companies, how would they just get that? Because they're in the secret society. huh? I told you people, they're the one who run the whole wide world. Money belongs to them 100% in. And I already told you about the Rothschild. They're the one who control all the banking system. 
in this world and they're the one who control the damn secret society just remember that shit you have direct access mm -hmm. to them the delphic was reportedly started by jp morgan one of the wealthiest of people what i don't tell you i never miss there go your jp morgan chase right there what i don't tell you is a part of the banking system in this world meaning they make money they're the one who print money you can't start bank without money all of those banks that they started from back in the days they start the banking system how would they do it without money yes i told you what it is already people they're the one who control every fucking money that moves yes 100 percent in and they're the one who run the secret society controlling the whole wide world put governments in place and everything wake your ass powerful businessmen in the world in the late 19th mm -hmm. century yes some people believe these secret societies are part of a master plan to control world events mm -hmm. the reality oh, you hear what you hear all of a sudden you kind of doubling down he said people say mm -hmm. no more facts now no it's assumption you better wake your ass up why you think they have this shit right here down there in new york and the wall street what you think with this big bull right here freemason bricks right there big old star post up on the window all devil yes yeah, these ivy league secret societies have generated leaders from wall street to washington mm -hmm. a world that includes banking with dictators mm -hmm. or cia assassinations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they're driven by some secret handshake from college mm -hmm. as students some are driven by a thirst for power mm -hmm. others by family legacy mm -hmm. smith's family legacy and thirst for power Mm -hmm. Okay. As he was driven primarily by curiosity. Mm -hmm. I come from the other side of the tracks. Mm -hmm. And so I was interested. So he driven by so-called curiosity. But remember, they're the one who chose him. He never chooses it. You remember what he tell you? He find a letter under his door with the, with the so-called invitation. How would he so-called trying to get in because of a certain things and they're the one who chose him this is bullshit he was driven primarily by curiosity wow. i come from the other side of the tracks wow. and so he wanted to see what's on the other side of the track but still he tell you that he wasn't interested in it they're the one who bring him in wake your ass up. i was interested to see you know how they talk bullshit. what do they do on their downtime bullshit, what does it look like people. did you find the kids of wealthy families or perhaps not as happy as you would think they would be mm -hmm. as a kid who was mm -hmm. not wealthy. We mm -hmm. They were what I expected in the sense of, mm -hmm. you know, these elite, very privileged mm -hmm. uh, kids uh, mm -hmm. who had a very different lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, that to me was very surreal. Mm -hmm. Yes, very surreal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His first novel is somewhat autobiographical and infuses a lesson for the other 99% of young men and women mm -hmm. who will never get into an Ivy League school, mm -hmm. let alone a secret society. You hear that, people? A Ivy League school, yes. 99% not gonna get in. You understand what I don't tell you about to get in Harvard? You think it's easy? <laughs> I already told you people. This guy that tell you the story that he in the secret society and they chose him, he full of shit. 100% When you are shit, a grounded person of, and mm -hmm, you are confident you in who you are and what you are, mm -hmm. the environment will not have such an impact on you mm -hmm. that you lose the core of your being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The clubs are not affiliated with Harvard. The university has tried to shut them down for you not being... see that, people? They're not affiliated with Harvard. The university trying to shut it down. You believe it, people? It's what running this fucking college. The people that own it is Freemason. That's what you need to remember, people. A secret society running this fucking college. They just tell you that they, the members is law people and, and politics and... CEO of Fortune 500 company, they're the one who own this college right here, 100%. Inclusive. Currently, they've taken their biggest push ever mm -hmm. to try to squash these clubs. It's that bullshit. is, you can't be a captain of a varsity athletic team. It's bullshit, people. It's 100% bullshit. That's not the way they recruit the Freemasonry right there in this college. They're never going to tell you how they do Can't it. hold a student government position. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, mm -hmm. they will not give you recommendations for scholarships like the Rhodes Scholar or something mm -hmm. like that. They won't give you these mm -hmm. referrals and recommendations. So mm -hmm. they're trying, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. these clubs, in my opinion, will be around forever because... These you hear that? Of course it's going to be around forever because you're not going to tell the people who really run in that shit. The whole college is based upon that Freemasonry, the secret society. 100% in and don't worry about it. They could never know who is a member 
That's what you need to know. You think a regular person can just point out a member? No, people. In that same college, nobody know who is who. I told you already, people. The secret society run the whole wide world. The banking system and everything. They're the one who own money. That's why they rule the wide. The whole wide world. That's what you need to get. Wake your ass up. I'm gone.